What are you talking about? Has anyone ever said that to you? And how did you react? Were you offended? Why were you offended? Were you offended because they didn't understand your message or because you didn't really know what you were talking about? See, as a speaker and as somebody who is a business owner, you have to know what you're talking about. When you have the opportunity to speak to someone or to speak to an audience, you have to know what you're talking about. You have to have a clear message and you have to make sure that your audience understands. And that's what I want to talk to you about coming up next in this episode. You're listening to The Grind and Gratitude Show. I am Danny Stone, and I've dedicated my entire life to helping people win. Win in their careers, win in their businesses, and win in their lives. This podcast is going to help you get on your grind and hustle to create the life that you love and walk in gratitude along the journey. Each episode, I'll teach you tools and tactics and bring you conversations with experts that will help you turn your passion into a thriving online business. Life isn't about wishing for something greater. It's about making it happen. There's something special about you. Grind until you find it. Be grateful when you get it. Welcome to the Grind and Gratitude Show. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much. If you're an avid listener, you know I got a lot of love for you. And... I just want to say this, before I introduce myself and talk about all that, I just want to say thank you for everybody who's left a podcast review, who sent me a message, who shared an episode. I just want to say thank you so much because it really helps me to understand that I'm doing this for a reason. And when you share the podcast and when you send me DMs and when you uh, leave um, podcast reviews, All of that helps me to reach more people and it lets me know that you want me to keep going with this. So I just want to say thank you for everybody who sent me a DM, everybody who's left a review, everybody who shared an episode. Thank you so much. Now, let me tell you who I am. I am Danny Stone, also known as Coach Stone is in the building. I am a hero entrepreneur who helps other hero entrepreneurs learn to speak so that they can make more impact, income, and influence. I'm the founder of Champion You Academy, an online academy to help you level up your life and your business. I am a two-time author of two personal development books, You Have the Keys Now Drive and New Me, which I co-wrote with nine other men. And I just do a lot of things that's dedicated to helping you achieve your goals. I love to speak on stage. I'm a leadership and empowerment speaker. I get to speak on stages all over the world. And what I do understand is this. You have a champion inside of you. There's something special about you. You may have been through some mess, but you can turn that mess into a message. And people need that message. I know this for sure. I know that you have knowledge, information, stories, that can change a lot of people's lives. You might not know it, but I know it. And as a result, you have to decide if you want to share those stories, if you want to impact more lives, if you want to land more of your ideal customers and clients. You have to decide. And if you make that decision, then you have to commit to learning how to communicate in a way that really gets people to take action to think about something different, and to do something different. And that's what I had to do. I never thought that I had a story. I never thought that anybody would want to listen to a kid who grew up in low-income housing, surrounded by drugs and crime, headed down the wrong path, then eventually went to university, became a university dropout. Like, I never thought anybody would want to listen to my story. But I was wrong. I get to stand on stages all over the world. I get to have this podcast episode. I get to go on other people's platforms. I get to write books about my story and what I learned and how it can help other people. And they listen and they respond. And it's impacting lives. 
So I'm saying if I can do this, a kid who grew up in low income housing, who was headed down the wrong path, it's possible for you. And I want you to understand that. So I had this question for you. And the question is what I asked you in the beginning. Like, have you ever had somebody say, what are you talking about? And did you take offense to that? See, I used to take offense to that when people used to say, what are you talking about? To me, it came across as maybe aggressive or negative. And and now I just laugh because I don't take it that way. But back then I used to. And the reason I used to take it that way is because one, sometimes I didn't know what I was talking about. I was just rambling or I was just making things up. And two, I took offense because maybe the person or the people I was talking to weren't understanding my my message or my story or what I was trying to say, which led me to the third point, which I had to get clear about my message. And so now when somebody says, what are you talking about? What am I talking about? I'll tell you what I'm talking about. You have a champion inside of you. That's what I'm talking about. You need to speak up to scale up. If you're a business owner, that's what I'm talking about. Do you want to make more impact, income, and influence? That's what I'm talking about. Now I know my messages are clear. So if you say that to me and you think it's going to be offensive, it's not. I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. Now, do you know what you're talking about? What is your message for the world? If you're an entrepreneur or a business owner, how are you communicating about your products and your services? In a really clear and concise way, you're using stories. Are you getting into the hearts of people? Because people buy based on emotion. Or are you rambling all over the place and telling all these different random stories and jumping from point to point? And are you confusing people when you talk? That might be it. So I can understand why you may take offense when someone says, what are you talking about? But let me tell you this. There's a few things that you can do so that when if somebody does ask you what are you talking about or they or you have an opportunity to introduce yourself you can do that in a really clear and concise way so i want to give you a couple of points that really help me make that shift from being an ineffective communicator somebody who's to ramble who was jumping from point to point who couldn't really put together a cohesive thought in a sentence like that was me and now I get to stand on stages and come here on the Grind and Gratitude show and, and talk to you. So the first thing that I want you to understand or the first thing I want you to do, if you want to make a greater impact in the world, if you're a business owner or an entrepreneur, this is the first thing that you got to get right. What is your overarching message? What is the overarching message? And that message should be about a big problem that you solve or a picture of the future that you're trying to paint. So for instance, I help coaches, authors, consultants, and online teachers learn how to speak so that they can attract their ideal clients and not chase them. So the problem I solve is coaches authors, consultants, and online teachers have a problem trying to land their ideal customers. And they're doing all the funnels and they're doing everything and they're not working. They're like, oh, Coach Stone, I'm, I'm running the funnels, but the funnels aren't converting. I'm paying for the ads, but the ads are expensive and I'm not getting the return. I'm, I'm posting on social media five times a day and I'm still not landing the right customers. So there's people who are doing all of those things And they're not attracting their ideal customers and growing their business. So what do I do? I help them learn how to speak so that they can attract their ideal customers and clients. And so that they can get on other people's platforms because that's the fastest, most cost-effective way to grow your business, get on other people's platforms. So I teach people how to speak to do that. So if you're a business owner or if you're just somebody who has a passion or you feel like you're being called on a bigger mission to make a greater impact, then you have to get clear about your overarching message. What is that message? And so when someone says, what are you talking about? You can tell them. 
this is this is what I believe, or this is what I'm trying to do, or these are the people that I help, or I help people solve this problem. You need that overarching message. And some of you don't have it. And so you get in a room or you have an opportunity to network or you have an opportunity to speak to a potential cl- customer or client or to speak on a bigger uh, uh, to a bigger audience. You're not ready. Because you don't know what your own message is. What is that overarching message that you have? How are you helping people? How are you serving people? How are you helping people solve a big problem or helping them with a need or a want? You got to get that. Whether you're a speaker or not, if you want to make a greater impact in the in the world, you need to have a, a very tight message and you need to know what that overarching message is. So that's the first thing you got to get clear about. We good? How are you feeling about that? We good? All right. All right. The second thing that you have to do is now you need two or three points and a few stories that support that overarching message and why it's important. Why is it important? Right? What are those two to three points that you're going to reinforce that overarching message? If you're going to speak on a stage or you're going to go live or you're going to speak to a bunch of people, you have to have this mapped out. You got to tell them how you help people solve a big problem or what the future could look like. And then you have to validate that with two to three points and two to three stories. This is why it's important. I remember, (laughs) I remember years ago, I had an opportunity to, to speak to some financial professionals. And I remember I was standing up there and I was speaking about you know, the power of living your legacy and how, you know, a lot of us are living living our legacy right now. And a lot of people think about legacy when they come to the end of their life. And I was standing up there and that was kind of like the overarching message. You're living your legacy right now. And I remember, you know, saying to the audience, I said, look, you know, some of you are waiting till you get a certain dollar amount in, in your bank account, or you get a certain job title, or you get a certain status before you start giving back. And you think that when you get to that place, now you're going to start building your legacy. I said, you're building your legacy right now. Every interaction that you have with people, your coworkers, the person at the coffee shop, how you interact with each other is building your legacy because people will remember how you made them feel. And I could see people shifting in their seat and getting uncomfortable. And they're like, uh. and so I just kind of continued on. And then afterwards, a, f- a few people came up to me and, and, you know, there was two people who were very emotional and said, you know, Coach Stone, you're, you're completely right. I haven't been treating my family well. You know, I'm so focused on work that I just neglect my family and all of these different things. And I'm saying this because I was organized in my speech and my delivery and I shared stories And then I challenge people to think about some of the things that I was saying. And when you're organized, you have a message and you validate that with points and stories, it's really going to connect with people in their hearts. And see, like people know things logically in their minds. They know that they should eat better. They should take better care of their health. They should save more money. You know, people know that logically, but they're not doing it. And so as a speaker and as somebody who's trying to communicate and let them know that you can help them solve a problem or with a need or a want, you have to learn to get into their hearts and their soul. And you do that by being organized in what you're saying so that you don't lose them and having stories and points that really speak to how they may be feeling or how they felt in the past. So that's the second thing you have to do. What are the two to three points with the two to three stories that are going to sort of um, solidify and validate that overarching message? We good? All right. Now, the third thing that you have to do, and like you do this if you're really trying to, if you're really trying to position yourself as the go-to expert, or you really want to get on other people's platforms whether it's their podcast, whether you go live with them, whether it's mainstream media, if you really want to get on other people's platforms, this is what one thing that you really need to do. You ready? 
You need to develop a step-by-step framework. If you're a coach, a consultant, an author, a speaker, a teacher, what is that step-by-step process that you've used to make it through a difficult situation or that you've taught to other people to help them solve a big problem? What is that step-by-step process? What is that framework? What is that strategy? Now, when you do this and you say, hey, I'm Coach Stone, the founder of the champ strategy that helps people unlock that inner champion. Now I'm the founder of the strategy. I'm the founder of the framework. So I position myself and I stand out from other people in my industry because I have the framework. I have the the, the step-by-step process that I've used to help myself and other people. So when you have a framework, it helps you to keep things organized when you're speaking to people. So if you go on a podcast or you go on somebody's platform, you can easily use your framework and walk people through it. And you really start to position yourself as the go-to expert, right? You stand out from other people in your industry. You build your authority. People start to believe you. They start to know you and like you and trust you. And the framework is the third P in the process. See, what I'm teaching you right now is my three P process. It's pain or problem, picture, process. So what is the pain or the problem that you're helping people with? What's the picture of the future that you're painting? What could their future look like if they had that problem solved? And the third P is the process. What is the process that you're going to use to help them through that? So once we get here, right, once we get to this point, you're standing out because you're communicating the process. You've already articulated the the overarching message, which is whatever the pain or the problem is, or sometimes you paint the picture of what the future could look like. You back that up with three, two to three points and some stories, right? To make people want to listen and pay attention and to really feel what you're saying in their hearts and their soul. And now you got them and they're like, okay, well, what do I do? How do I take my life or my business or to the next level? Or how do I solve this problem? Now you come with the process. What is the framework, the strategy, the step-by-step process that you're going to help people with? And when you develop that, You can take that on any platform and you can speak about it in a very clear and concise way. I'm going to be honest with you. That's one of the biggest problems. I see really amazing business owners. I see really amazing entrepreneurs. I see really amazing, amazing coaches, authors, teachers, consultants. I see really amazing people who want to make a greater impact in the world. And then when you ask them to talk about the thing that they're passionate about, it's not organized. It's all over the place. And and sometimes you actually confuse the people that you're talking to. And so we have to learn to organize our words and our thoughts so that it makes sense to people that we're talking to, that we're trying to influence to take action and to do something different whether it's buy your products or your services or your coaching, whether it's take action to do something different in their lives, whether it's to help other people, whatever that is, it's our responsibility to make sure that we communicate that in a very clear, concise, and concerted way so that it gets into their hearts and they want to take action. Does that make sense to you? I hope so, because it's mega sense to me, (laughs) but it it really is about, it's about getting clear about your message. It's about knowing the right stories to tell. It's about developing a step-by-step process that can help people. And, and, And that's what it's really about, right? Like that's what it's all about. And then you want to invite people to go deeper with you. Once you've communicated that, whether it's a networking opportunity or you get to speak on the stage or you're on a podcast, 
you do all of the three P's, you, you know, you talk about the problem, you let them know that you understand where they are. You talk about the picture, like what the picture of the future can look like. You talk about your process, how you can help them the step by step. And then you have to invite them to go deeper with you. Hey, if you're ready, if you're a coach, if you're a consultant, if you're an online teacher, if you're an author and you're tired of struggling to get in front of more people and reach your ideal customers and clients and grow your business, if you're tired of all the social media posts, if you're tired of spending thousands and thousands on ads that aren't converting, if you're tired of all the sales funnels and all the things that you have to do to grow your business, to attract your ideal customers, if you're tired, I'm inviting you to go deeper with me. I'm inviting you to come in to my world and let me help you to speak so that you can attract your ideal customers. That's my invitation. So that's what you have to do. You have to invite people to go deeper with you. And a lot of us just don't do that. We have really great products and services. We have really great books. We have great coaching, speaking, teaching, but we just don't make the invitation for people to go deeper. So give them the invitation. Hey, I'm a coach. This is what I coach on. I have a book. Here's what my book's about. I'm a speaker. This is what I can speak on. And give people an invitation to go deeper with you and you'll be surprised at how some people will just take you up on that because they didn't know that you are actually, you know, available for them to work with. So I hope this was valuable for you. I really wanted to dive deep on that because sometimes when people say, what are you talking about? We take offense to that instead of looking at that as an opportunity to tell them what we're talking about. Don't be offended. Be clear. Be concise. Be focused on what it is that you want to say when somebody says that to you. Always be ready. Always be ready. And what that means is always be ready for an opportunity when it presents itself. If you have an opportunity to speak to people, if you have an opportunity to connect with somebody one-on-one or speak to a group of people or you know go live on a video or whatever that opportunity is, always be ready. As entrepreneurs, we need to be ready because we never know when that next big opportunity is going to come. And so when you do these things, Get that overarching message. You get two to three points and stories to validate that message. You talk about your process, how you help people, and you invite people to go deeper with you. When you do that, you're going to understand that you don't have to chase after people as much. They're going to want to come into your world. They're going to want to be a part of what you're doing. But it all it all starts with you being clear and concise and understanding your message and practicing. This, this stuff doesn't happen overnight. It takes weeks and months and sometimes years to really fine tune your message. So don't think that, oh, don't be overwhelmed with everything I'm saying. I just want you to understand that like it takes time, but now is the time. Start sitting down and start writing out these things. And the other thing is that once you're clear, you can start to roll this stuff out on your social media in your email list. It doesn't just have to be speaking on on your platform or other people's platforms. It can be in written form as well. So that's the benefit of really taking the time to understand your message. I really hope this was helpful for you. If you love this, please like this, share it, you know, leave a podcast review on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. Or if you love this and you're watching it on YouTube, I'd love to hear from you. Leave a comment. And, um, and and like and subscribe because the more people that we reach, the more people that we help. And I know you want to help people. I know you want to serve other people. So if you found value in this, please share it. So that's it for this episode. I want to thank you so much for being my co-host. And I just want to say this. I continue to thank all of you who are listening around the world. I, I appreciate you so much. You, you keep me going. You keep me wanting to come back with really fresh and uh, new ideas and new episodes. So thank you so much. So that's it, everybody. Take care. I will catch you in the next episode. 
thanks so much for being my co-host on this episode of the Grind and Gratitude Show. I really appreciate you. I hope that you learned something and you're motivated to take action and get on your grind. Didn't that go by fast? If you want more, head over to grindandgratitude.com for show notes and more information about this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please go to iTunes and subscribe and leave a rating so more people will tune in. And let me say this. There's something special about you. Grind until you find it. Be grateful when you get it.